We already know that our planet is full of weird and often unsettling animals. We've seen enough David Attenborough documentaries to come to terms with that. But even Attenborough can't show us all of the animals, which is why we're here today, to introduce you to some of the more, uh, unusual animals. From a fish who loves makeup to a vegetarian piranha. Let's meet 20 shocking creatures that are not from this planet. <sighs> Number 20. Red-lipped batfish. If you're one of those people that's always felt fish would be better with just a little bit of lipstick, well, you're in luck. Because as it turns out, evolution also felt the same way, which is why it decided to give one batfish a nice red lip. And to make matters even more curious, it's named after Charles Darwin. The red-lipped batfish, or Agacephalus darwini, is an unusual fish with many unique evolutionary adaptations. Not only does it look like it's ready for a night out on the sea floor, but it's also able to walk there. Yes, Yes, this fish's pectoral, pelvic, and anal fins are modified to the point that it can rest on the seafloor with them, and even move them, making it appear to walk. It also has that unique modified dorsal fin, which resembles the terrifying lure of the anglerfish. As far as we know, the red-lipped batfish is from this planet, but, well, you wouldn't know it. I mean, have you ever seen a fish looking quite so fabulous as this one? And given that they live at depths of over 100 feet, you probably shouldn't expect to see another. Sorry to break that news to you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Look, another alien thing. This time we found a huge worm creature in Chernobyl. This time they found a huge worm creature in Chernobyl. This otherworldly creature was spotted crawling inside an abandoned amusement park. Scientists say it may be the mutated offspring of an insect, the offspring of two different species, or something even weirder. Of course, there are many other theories about what this alien creature is. Some claim that this is the strongest ever evidence of aliens visiting our planet. Others think this creature could be an ancient life form that somehow survived in Chernobyl after the nuclear disaster. But what do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19, Paku Fish. Everybody knows about the dangers faced by piranha. I mean, they're fish that could easily rip your flesh to pieces. It's hard to not know about the dangers. But if there are meat-eating piranhas, that also suggests there must be vegetarian piranhas out there, right? Well, as ridiculous as the question may sound, you're absolutely right. And they're known as Paku. Paku is the collective name for a group of several species of freshwater fish native to South America. In fact, even the name Paku means fast eater. But if they don't eat meat, they have to eat something, right? So they settle for the more sustainable approach. Algae, plants, nuts, fruits, and small fish. Yeah, small fish. Okay, so they're not completely vegetarian. They're more uh, pescatarian, I guess. But at least you know that if you ever encounter a Paku, you're probably going to make it out alive. Unless you're, I don't know, Groot. Paku fish are very similar to piranhas, and yet they could not be more different. Their jaws are smaller, they have one row of teeth, and they don't eat the flesh of anything other than fish. So all that combined, you're looking at a slightly less terrifying predator. And by slightly, I mean not at all. Number 17. Peacock Spider. Yeah, I know, the idea of combining a peacock with a spider sounds like every arachnophobe's nightmare. I mean, if you put some colors on a terrifying creature, it doesn't make it less terrifying, it just makes it a little brighter. 
not fun. Peacock spiders are named for their resemblance to peacocks while doing their mating ritual. And as it turns out, the internet has taken quite a liking to these spiders. After all, these extraordinary colors are appealing and interesting, but it turns out there's a lot more to be fascinated by. For one, they're only found in Australia, making them incredibly rare to the world at large. They're also tiny, they're as small as a grain of rice. And even more curious, there are many kinds of peacock spiders, many of which are yet to be discovered, so that's fun. But the biggest reason that the peacock spider has become so popular with spider lovers, they have have a very intriguing mating ritual that includes them dancing back and forth. Because, as we all know, nothing impresses a woman more than a man who can dance like nobody's watching. I mean, it's never worked for me, but uh, hey, someday, right? Number 16. Kawadi Mundi you may not be fluent or even semi-understanding of the Tupian languages indigenous to South Africa. Well, allow me to help you out here. Kwadi Mundi comes from the word Kwadi, a combination word that blends words for belt and nose together to create belt nose. This unusual name refers to the way that the Kawadi Mundi sleeps with its nose tucked into its belly. That nose is used to sniff out tasty little grubs like beetles and termites, as well as the occasional mammal like mice or reptiles like lizards. These guys are not only excellent swimmers, but really great climbers too. In fact, while they spend most of their day foraging for food on the ground, they're also known to sleep, mate, and give birth high in the trees. Because, hey, sometimes life on the ground is pretty boring, right? Even the Kawadi Mundi wants to join the... 8... Teen feet high club. I think it's fair to say that this unique animal is not like any other. The belt nose alone makes it one of the more curious species we've ever seen. But you know what? Sometimes a little bit of uniqueness and weirdness is actually what you need to make yourself stand out. I learned that from David Attenborough. I also learned not to go near tigers, but that's a story for a different time. Number 15. Star-Nosed Mole Can you guess why this thing is called the Star-Nosed Mole? If you can't, I'm a little bit concerned for ya. Obviously, this mole is named after what has to be one of the more unique noses in the animal kingdom, but just wait until you hear what they do with it. This mole tends to live in the wet lowland areas of North America, and it makes good use of that nose. Thanks to the 22 fleshy appendages that surround it, they use their unique star-shaped nose to feel around its wet environment and even hunt prey when it feels like it. And when I say hunt, I mean they hunt in what has to be the most adorable way possible. They hunt by just booping their nose against the ground quickly. In a single second, it can boop up to 12 different places. That's efficiency. The star-nosed mole tends to feed only on small invertebrates, including worms, mollusks, amphibians, and fish. Which is great news for us in two ways. We get to admire the adorable guy as he boops his snoot, and we don't have to worry about. You know, the terror of existential calamity and what happens if a mole eats you. Number 14. Mantis Shrimp To some people, they may look beautiful, stunning even, but you should not let appearances fool you. The Mantis Shrimp is easily one of the most fearsome and determined predators in the underwater world. In fact, that seems like an understatement. You know how that superhero was always described as faster than a speeding bullet? Yeah, well, uh, so is this shrimp. The Mantis Shrimp has a clubbed forelimb, which allows it to hunt with one of the strongest punches on the entire planet. The shrimp can punch with the speed of a 22 caliber bullet. Let that sink in for a second. The speed of a single punch from one of these things is capable of breaking the shells of its prey. And if you're unlucky, the glass walls of an aquarium. So, uh, might not want to go for the cheap stuff in this case. As if all of this isn't insane enough, not all mantis shrimp are content to just stick with the punching. In fact, some have spear-like limbs that prefer to stab and impale, rather than just punch. 
Not all that terrifying, right? Well, imagine how scared their prey would be, especially given that we haven't mentioned that the shrimp can see a huge variety of light wavelengths, including ultraviolet. Sleep easy, young underwater animals. Number 13. Goblin Shark Unless you're somehow able to break all human limitations and survive at the bottom of the ocean, you'll never bump into a goblin shark. And for that, we will all be eternally grateful. However, maybe you should be aware of why that's a good thing. Just, uh, brace yourself. The goblin shark is often described as a living fossil due to how old and, well, terrifying it is. So let's paint a picture here. The goblin shark is swimming through the deep, dark sea when it notices a tasty meal in front of it, a squid. The shark will slowly approach, but of course, the squid will notice the shark inching closer and bolt, because, well, who wants to die? Unfortunately, there's no way out once the goblin shark has seen you. The shark will just extend its jaw three inches out of its mouth and take a bite. And that's night-night time for the squid. I don't care if it eats humans or if it doesn't. Any animal that can extend its jaw out of its mouth is an immediate avoid in my book. That's pure nightmare fuel, and I will not sit here and pretend that it won't haunt my nightmares. May God have mercy on us all. Number 12. Jabiru Stork there are a lot of birds in the Americas, I mean, a lot, and given that we have things like the bald eagle and the vulture, you know it's a big deal when I say we're about to meet the largest flying bird in all of the Americas. My friends, meet the Jabiru Stork. While he may not be responsible for delivering babies, the Jabiru Stork is an unbelievable sight to behold. These birds can grow 4 to 5 feet tall and have an impressive wingspan of up to 12 12 feet. All of that makes for one intimidating big bird. Even Big Bird would look at this stork and slink off back to Sesame Street. Let's not talk about where Big Bird was in this hypothetical scenario, shall we? These storks tend to enjoy marshland and are often confused for farmers. I'm not kidding. From a distance, the Jibiru stork can easily be mistaken for bent-over old men wearing red neckties. So when they're standing in farmers' fields, you get the picture. Many people wave hello to a farmer only to run when they realize it's a giant bird. Of course, like pretty much all birds, the Jibiru does not eat humans. It focuses on small mammals, fish, frogs, and its favorite, reptiles. Good for you, big b... <laughs> Good for you. Number 11. Axolotl. Now we come to an animal that is exclusive to only one place in the world. Yes, much like your favorite collectible toys or, uh, I don't know, food. This animal can only be found in Lake Xochimilco in Mexico City. I'm talking about the one, the only, axolotl. If we're going to get technical, the axolotl can actually be found in a great many places all over the planet. However, I'm talking exclusively about the wild. When it comes to wild axolotls, axolotls, you will never find them anywhere else. Which kind of sucks, because they're fascinating. We're talking about salamanders who have the unique and enviable ability to regrow entire body parts. This is very good because, uh, they also tend to be a bit cannibalistic. Not always, of course, but the axolotl is inherently hungry for a carnivore and will eat anything from fish and worms to insects. They're not even fussy about whether it's alive or dead. But if they can't find any food, they will get desperate. And generally speaking, if a creature is desperate for food, they will seek it anywhere. Which is why some unfortunate axolotl family members will wake up to discover that they're missing a limb. Hey, everybody's gotta eat, right? Number 10. Pangolin Here's a very depressing fact for ya. The pangolin is the most trafficked mammal on the planet, and even worse, they're only really trafficked in one area of the globe. Maybe we should dig in a little deeper to understand why that is. The pangolin is often referred to as a scaly anteater, since its diet almost entirely consists of ants. We'll come back to that alternate name in just a second, but let's dig into pangolin. 
That name comes from pengulung, the Malay word for roller. When a pangolin feels threatened or scared, it tends to roll completely into a ball, presenting its many scales to the potential threat. The only problem, not everybody is intimidated by those scales. In fact, some people want them, which is how you end up with a beautiful creature that is the most trafficked anywhere in the world. In China and Vietnam, pangolins are typically trafficked all over the place for their meat and scales. The meat is considered a delicacy while the scales are used in traditional Chinese medicine and are believed to cure a whole host of disorders and illnesses. Does it really do that, or is it just a placebo type thought? Well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Number 9. Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes sure has a lot to answer for, but at the top of the list has to be the public transformation of one of the world's most terrifying animals. Yes, it's time to address Taz and his real-life counterpart. I don't think it's a spoiler, but uh, the real guy is just a little bit more frightening. The Tasmanian Devil is named for its terrifying and wholly unique noise. When the first European settlers arrived in Tasmania, they reported hearing terrifying, unearthly screams from within the bush. Naturally, they assumed the sounds were coming from the devil or some kind of demonic entity that was following them on their quest. From there, they began naming the mysterious beast the Tasmanian Devil. Decades later, somebody finally managed to discover one in the wild and put a face to the, uh, unearthly screech. I'm sure that was a totally non-frightening experience. In fact, I know it wasn't, because the Tasmanian Devil isn't just feared for its terrifying noises, it's also feared for its bite. This animal has the strongest bite of any mammal in the world, of any size. Their jaws are strong enough to crush bone. Yeah, they eat every single part of their prey, so you really don't want to get on the wrong side of this guy. In hindsight, it's probably a good thing they never broached this topic on Looney Tunes. Number 8. The Barrel Eye Fish if you're getting anything from today's video, it's that Earth's wildlife is much stranger than we give it credit for. And if that's the case, it really makes you wonder what else is out there, and how weird it could possibly get. Because, I mean, look at this guy. Can it get weirder than the barrel eye fish? Any fish that looks like this can only be found in the deep sea because apparently it's the place where the weirdos live. Obviously, this animal gets its name from the unique barrel shaped eyes capped with lenses. I mean, a fish with glasses would be quite something. The eyes point directly upwards to allow the fish to spot prey. However, they can also shift to aim forward, hence allowing it to sense predators and hopefully avoid them. But as if the eyes aren't weird enough, we have to highlight the head. The barrel eyes head is transparent and filled with fluid. According to experts, the head and the eyes work together to allow the fish to filter out sunlight. It's basically like wearing sunglasses, but if they made sunglasses for totally tubular eyes, you know? Kind of offensive that they don't make those right. Number 7. Dumbo Octopus you probably already guessed this, but the Dumbo Octopus gets its name from the Disney movie, and not… well, it's not a comment on the animal's intelligence. Just had to clarify that one in advance. And, like most of the animals on this list, they tend to live so deep that it's unlikely you'll ever see one. Well, not in the wild. The Dumbo octopus live in the ocean, at depths of at least 13,100 feet, making it one of the deepest living of all known octopuses. Which may explain why they're so incredibly rare. In fact, they're so rare and isolated that they've naturally evolved to reproduce more easily whenever they can find a mate. It's kind of wild that this is the case, but hey, our planet just seems to be one crazy thing after another at this point. Modern life is chaotic. So to recap, the Dumbo octopus is named after the Disney movie, very intelligent, lives in the deep dark waters, is always prepared for mating season, rarely gets caught in the nets of humans, and uh, what did I miss? Oh, 
The largest ever recorded was 5 feet 10 inches long, which is unsettling. Really makes you wonder what an octopus basketball team would look like. Number 6. Philby I'm gonna make a wild assumption here and say that many people outside of Australia will have never heard of the bilby. And honestly, that's totally understandable. Australia has a lot of unique and native animals, and they can't all be as famous as kangaroos and koalas. At one time, bilbies were known to inhabit about 70% of Australia. They could be found everywhere, but then human development came along and changed everything, forcing the bilby to reduce its range. Now they're limited to just 15% of the land, found only in a few remote parts of the country, and always in the desert. The Australian Wildlife Conservancy has made significant efforts to try and reintroduce this unique burrowing animal to the world, but it's easier said than done. So what is a bilby? It's kind of a mix of rabbits, kangaroos, and bandicoots. I hope that answers your question. I mean, what better description is there other than to suggest it's a kind of adorable Frankenstein's monster of an animal? Hopefully it's just a matter of time before this guy finally gets his own movie or video game franchise. That guy can hope, right? Number 5. Echidna if you were to go back some 20 to 50 million years, the Earth would be a very different place. For one thing, it would be terrifying, but you'd also get to witness the evolution of some of our more common modern animals, and also the echidna. This prickly little thing evolved some 30 million years ago, but researchers and scientists are still struggling to understand them, even today. They're an egg-laying mammal, one of only three in the entire world. And if you're wondering why they have such a bizarre name, well, let's just say the scientists got it wrong for a while. The echidna was named after the creature of the same name in Greek mythology. Echidna was believed to be a half-woman, half-snake, often known as the mother of monsters. The reason for the name. Scientists thought the echidna had both reptilian and mammalian features. They thought it was half-mammal, half-snake, just like echidna. Of course, that's not true today, but the name never got changed. And, in the case of today's video, it's kinda fitting that such a unique and strange animal would receive such a unique and otherworldly name. I for one am very grateful to meet the echidna. Eh, virtually I mean. Number 4. Alligator Gar now, what I'm about to say is going to sound like the exact opposite, but trust me, the alligator gar does not pose any risk to humans. That said, it is among the biggest freshwater fish in the world. It has huge teeth and looks absolutely terrifying, so I wouldn't advise trying to find out for yourself. If you look through the fossil record, the alligator gar dates all the way back some 100 million years. And perhaps even more incredibly, they haven't really evolved at all in that time. The modern creatures still retain many of their ancient characteristics, including the ability to breathe air, both out of and underwater. Back in the day, the scales of the alligator gar was used by Native Americans to produce arrowheads and axes. But today, they tend to be left alone to feast on their prey. Mostly because who the hell wants to go messing with one of these guys? Sadly, the species has earned something of an unfortunate reputation as a trash fish. Many fishermen and anglers believed that the alligator gar damaged nets and ate game fish. Those claims weren't really true, but motivated many to go hunting for the alligator gar. Once they were officially debunked, the numbers rebounded. Who'd have thought human activity would have such an effect on the animal world? What a totally unsurprising shock. Number 3. Sea Angel Unless Japan is hiding something from us, Pokemon do not exist. That's just a straight up fact, whether you want to admit it or not. But hey, we could be wrong because, well, just take a look at this angel and decide for yourself. 
Sea angels are surreal little creatures, yet more proof that the ocean is home to some truly bizarre creatures. These things are found all over the world, but what are they? The sea angel is a free-floating sea slug, with wing-like appendages and a transparent, gelatinous body. And they are tiny, some of them are just 5 centimeters long, that's about 1.9 inches. To most animals, these things pose absolutely no threat, but sea butterflies, well, they're not quite so lucky. The sea angel can zoom through the ocean twice as fast as the sea butterfly, allowing them to easily hunt and catch their prey of choice. I guess being able to fly isn't always helpful. It's also worth noting that the sea angel is a protandrous hermaphrodite, which means they're born as males but slowly evolve into females over the course of their lives. Intriguingly enough, clownfish are also protandrous hermaphrodites, so I guess finding Nemo is uh, a little more complicated than just finding a fish. Number 2. Kinkajou we all know the raccoon, sure, but what do we know about its cousin, the kinkajou? Absolutely nothing. Well, not nothing, just astonishingly little. So let's dig a little deeper and see what we can find out about this strange new creature. There are actually seven subspecies of kinkajou found throughout Mexico, Central, and South America. Usually these animals tend to be found in tropical rainforests, mountain forests, and dry forests, but some countries also like to keep them as house pets. Of course, they may not be the most exciting pets you could get given that they're nocturnal, but if you're interested in having a small mammal in your house, well, they're not the worst choice out there, I guess. The kinkajou has a few fascinating evolutionary developments, but the most interesting? That tail. The kinkajou has a prehensile tail which acts as an additional arm, so when the animal is leaping through the treetops, the tail will grab and hold the branches, providing additional balance throughout. And when it comes time to sleep, the kinkajou will wrap its body with its tail providing a nice cozy blanket at the same time. Honestly, it kinda sounds like the kinkajou is living the dream. Number 1. Glaucus Atlanticus For an animal that's just over an inch long, the blue glaucus is surprisingly defensive. I mean, maybe it has to be defensive given its tiny size, but still, this thing is like a one-animal army. But we're not even going to talk about that today, because we have to focus on all of the weird stuff that makes the blue glaucus what it is. Thanks to an air bubble stored in its stomach, the blue glaucus floats on its backside, allowing that brightly colored belly to be shown to predators in the air. Now you may be thinking about how terrible an idea that is, you'd be right. However, there's a tactic behind the madness. The bright blue color is camouflaged by the ocean waves, but what about the predators below? Well, luckily, the blue glaucus has a grayish backside, which blends with the sea surface. This is what's known as countershading, a way of protecting yourself from predators above and below. Pretty slick, eh? The blue glaucus also produces both eggs and sperm, meaning that they have the capabilities to both impregnate and be impregnated. However, they cannot reproduce on their own. They're just well prepared for such a moment. Man, the ocean is just weird, huh? Still, great idea on avoiding death. What's the strangest or most otherworldly animal you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.